Hello everybody and welcome to the CAD Cage, brought to you by Zentech Consultants. Uh, in the CAD Cage, we take two CAD systems, we put them side by side, and we test an important design function or a basic feature that we use every day in the CAD world, and we basically see which one is better or worse. Um, so we're going to get started here with today's competitors, AutoCAD versus BricsCAD. Um, and today I want to look at the process of cleaning up bad line work. Uh, band line work, as you can see here on my screen, i got two very simple examples. I've got AutoCAD on the left of my screen. i got BricsCAD over here on the right side of my screen um, using the same DWG file. And this is a pretty common thing, right? We get in documents all the time, whether it's from you know scans or point imports or point cloud data, right, where we've got angled lines, broken sections, right, things that aren't quite, you know, uh, orthogonal in, in their approach and how they were drawn. Right, and you see it's the identical setup on, on both of these documents. All right, so let's start off over here with AutoCAD and, and the way that we, we usually go about cleaning this type of stuff up. And I will say that AutoCAD, I think, uh, I haven't found any great ways for doing this. There are a couple of Lisp utilities out there in, in, in the web that you can download. But native AutoCAD itself is a little bit limited in this respect, I think. Um, you know, you can go and you can do basic grip editing, changing of angles through properties, I, if you want to go in and, and start changing, you see the angle here, it's 88 degrees when it should be 90, etc. Um, one of the tools that I use a lot for this when I'm in AutoCAD is the change command, right? basic change command. And one thing you do want to make sure that you do when you're working with the change command is you do want to make sure that you've got your orthogonal drafting turned on, otherwise this does not work. Um, with the change command, you can see, like I said, this vertical line here, right? it's an 88 degree. If I just pick that line, I can snap to the end point of that. And you see it brings it to an orthogonal 90 degree set. So you see it's now a nice straight line where before it was like an 89 degree angle. That does, however, increase the, uh, the scope of that or, or the gap over there. And you see I've got these two lines in the center, right, that are kind of two different lines coming down at a, at a center angle where it really should be one kind of straight line. Um, I can use the change command on these again. You see as long as I've got the ortho on, it'll leave the, the end point that I don't snap to where it is and you see it kind of cleans it up and makes it 90 all right and then i can take this one change it to there there's still two different lines they're still slightly off but at least now they're they're kind of you know orthogonal so i can kind of use that it's it's not the ideal way as you can see it's going to take a lot of time for me to go in and clean up all these lines and move them erase ones i don't want and fill it and so on uh bricscad on the other hand has this really neat tool that i like it's called the optimized tool all right and what the optimized tool what it lets you do is actually go in and you can you can work the entire drawing at once or selected areas. You see you have the ability to go in and choose specific entities or you can do the entire drawing. In this case, it's a very simple drawing. You just got a series of lines, for example. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more there. Um, and you see I have the ability to close gaps. So it should close up the gap down here in the corner if I do this correctly. All right. Um, I can adjust my reference angles. Do I just want to do things that are in the horizontal plane? See, I can turn the horizontals off and you see I'm no longer straightening out the horizontals. Maybe I just have kind of a skew from a scan that's the vertical was off a little bit, right? Diagonal lines. So I can include horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. And then the big thing here are your tolerances. All, right, all I'm going to do just kind of make this is all a, a metric drawing. So I'm just going to set it to a, a 10 degree angle tolerance, meaning it'll read anything or straighten out anything that's under 10 degrees. And I'm just going to set 10 millimeter for my uh, distance and gap tolerances, right, which allow me to you know, adjust, you know, how close the lines have to be together before they get closed up, all right, or joined together into a single line, okay? Um, I, and I can go ahead and I can preview this, or I can go ahead and, and, you know, say okay and let it process. Just to kind of show you, I'm just going to preview it real quick. You see that I can just preview, and you see right away, my lines are now nice, neat, clean, orthogonal. It's closed up the gap in the bottom corner and made a single straight line out of all of those, and I can just go ahead and say okay. Right, and again, you can see that all my line work is now nice, neat, clean, orthogonal. Definitely looks a lot better than, than you know, I, I had originally. And it happens a lot faster uh, than we're dealing with in the AutoCAD side. And just to kind of take it up to a more advanced uh, setup here, I'm going to jump over to another drawing that I have open in each of these. Right, And just, just basically, this is from a point cloud scan. Right, and I just want to show you, again, kind of working with the AutoCAD side. If I want to go in here and, and really start cleaning up, you know, these drawings, these documents, again, my, my best option here is really the change command, right, where I can take that line and I can turn my ortho on. Oopsie, if you forget to turn your ortho on, it doesn't really do much, right, but I'll do the change again. 
right? and I can go and I can clean that line and you see how it straightens it out and then I have to go to this line change it and then I have to do like a trim or a fillet to clean up the bad corners and it's very important that you make sure you know which one of these is is the correct anchor corner and you can imagine going through a building floor plan like this that's going to take me a day <laughs> or more to kind of do that versus over here I can I can really get kind of the same thing you can see that a lot of these lines Right, are very skewed from my point cloud scan, right? That I did a kind of an automated setup. But same kind of thing, right? If I go into my optimize on this, right? And I'll just kind of zoom out again so we can see it. Same kind of thing, right? I still got my 10 set in here, right? You see I'm using horizontal vertical lines, right? And I can just go ahead and say, okay. And just like that, right? You see it's cleaned up a lot of those skewed lines, right? Close out the gaps on them in the corners where, you know, over here, I right, know AutoCAD, that's the, the corner that we were kind of playing with to make it work. It works a lot faster, a lot easier. So uh, this optimized tool is really, really nice for when you do get, whether it's from scans or something that somebody did lazily in-house and you're trying to clean up a whole mess of, of something somebody inserted and exploded at the wrong angle kind of thing. Uh, the optimized tool definitely goes with, uh, you know, it gets the win here today for me. I like that tool a lot. Like I so said, there's really nothing in AutoCAD that compares to that. So in this case, for the CAD cage, we're going to go ahead and say that the winner today is Bricks CAD on working with bad line work. It helps you a lot. So, all right, folks, that's it for today. We'll catch you next time on the CAD cage.